Super Hot VR is out on PSVR and hot damn is it good. I was super excited when it was announced that it would be coming and it did not disappoint. Let's get into it. Much like the original Super Hot, your goal is to shoot all the red guys in a level before you can proceed to the next. Usually you're given weapons to work with, but if not, you can just borrow one from a friend. The gimmick of the game being any time you move, time moves as well. Now this game takes full advantage of VR, as the speed you move at dictates how fast you move in the game, and applies that not just to your hands holding the move controllers, but also your head. So you gotta think twice, do I really want to look to my side, possibly wasting time, to see how close the man with the knife is, or should I deal with the gentleman in front of me with the gun first? Throughout the game, I'd say the developers did a pretty good job of what environment or situation you're put in to mix things up. With the color palette though that they went with and the fact that even though you can move a few feet in each direction you really can't explore the levels. If the game were much longer, I think I would have gotten sick of the environments a bit. As it is though, the game might actually be a little short for some. I know some people are going to be able to beat it in an hour. Of course my hand-eye coordination is awful so it took me a little over two hours. So for $25 this might not be worth it to everyone. I felt I got my money's worth though, personally. Even after you beat the game though, there are endless levels you can play to stretch that dollar out a bit more, where you see how many people you can take down before you die. And I thought these were actually really fun levels, they're why I still go back to the game from time to time. Now story-wise, there is a story, kind of. You're working for some shadow organization, you're trying to prove yourself to them through this VR setup, so you're playing VR, as a guy who is himself playing VR, so that's a thing. The sluice narrative is not the focus of the gameplay though, as it's just a reason for your character to be doing what he's doing. So do not buy the game if you want it for the story, it's not there, but that, that's okay, because the gameplay itself is fun enough on its own. As far as the downfalls, the only really frustrating thing about the game itself is how it treats levels and death. There are, I believe, five stages in each level, and you have to get through all of them in one life or else you're booted back to that first stage. I imagine some will love this challenge, but uh, it's not really my kind of thing. It came off a bit frustrating at times for me. One thing I'll say though, you, you get really good at those stages and you start feeling a bit like John Wick taking out guys, so maybe that was the point. I'm not sure, but it added some frustration in an otherwise very fun game. The game encourages you to move around as you're dancing between bullets, which this is really where the limitations of PSVR come into play. There were many times that I hit the boundary of the camera and was commanded to go back into the play area. I was also having to reset my position a lot so that the move lights could be seen by the camera. When throwing objects, there's a pretty good chance that it will not go where it's intended to go, so shooting is what you opt to most of the time when given the option. As much as I know, there's really nothing the developers could do about this as it's the hardware's fault, and I think they did a pretty great job on this port for the most part. It does remind me though that we're using 7 year old technology with the move wands. I I would be willing to throw some more money at Sony if it meant we could get some better controllers, but I, I think it might be a lost cause at this point. Now of course Super Hot VR did not initially come out on PSVR, this is a port of the PC game which I did not play so I can't compare the two, but I'm gonna go out on a limb and assume the PC version is better. Uh, but if you're like me and you can't afford that setup, I think this is a great game to have on PSVR. It's not going to give you limitless hours of gameplay, but it's very fun while the ride lasts. I'll see you guys next time.